Amarok is a cross-platform free and open source music player. Although Amarok is part of the KDE project, it is released independently of the central KDE software compilation release cycle. Amarok is released under the terms of the new General Public License version 2. Topic. History The project was originally started by Mark Kreshman as a means of improving XMMS due to several usability problems, which interfered with the addition of new files to the playlist due to several user interface elements existing for one task. The original Amarok was created based upon the idea of a two-pane interface seen in Midnight Commander, and the first version of the software released solely by Kreshman, was based upon the ideal of allowing users to drag and drop music into an interface in which the playlist was displayed on the right and information on the left. After the initial release of Amarok, several developers joined the project to form the 3Ms, the first of whom was Max Howell, who acted as an interface designer and programmer for the project, alongside Muesli, Christian Muehlhauser, who also provided user interface insight and programming till the late 1.4 versions. The program was originally named Amarok after a Mike Oldfield album of the same name. Later the artwork changed to reference Amarok, a wolf in Inuit mythology. The app's capitalization was changed to Amarok in June 2006. A new major version of Amarok, version 2.0, was released on December 12, 2008. On June 3, 2009, version 2.1 was released which reintroduced a few of the 1.4 features which had been missing from the initial 2.0 release, and introduced some features such as native replay gain support for the first time. Topic. Features Topic. Basic uses and functions Amarok serves many functions in addition to the basic function of playing music files. For example, Amarok can be used to organize a library of music into folders according to genre, artist, and album, can edit tags attached to most music formats, associate album art, attach lyrics, and automatically score music by keeping play count statistics. Although a more technical list of features is listed below, here are the primary functions or uses for Amarok. Playing media files in various formats including but not limited to depending on the setup FLAC, AUG, Opus, MP3, AAC, Wave, Windows Media Audio, Apple Lossless, Wavepack, TTA and Musepack. Amarok does not play digital music files embedded with DRM. Tagging digital music files currently FLAC, AUG Vorbis, WMA, AAC, MP3, and Real Media. Associating cover art with a particular album, and retrieving the cover art from Amazon. Creating and editing playlists, including smart and dynamic playlists. The dynamic playlists can use such information as the score given to a song by an Amarok script, and the playcount which is stored in the database. Synchronizing, retrieving, playing, or uploading music to the following digital music players, iPod, iRiver IFP, Creative Nomad, Creative Zen, MTP, Rio Karma and USB devices with VFAT generic MP3 players support. Displaying artist information from Wikipedia and retrieving song lyrics. Last.fm support, including submitting played tracks including those played on some digital music players to Last.fm, retrieving similar artists and playing Last.fm streams. Podcast, from version 1.4.4, Amarok introduced the integration of Magnatune, a non-DRM digital music store, enabling users to purchase music in AUG, FLAC, WAVE, and MP3 formats. Some of these features depend on other programs or libraries that must be installed on the computer to operate. Topic. Technical features 
Three main window panes, playlist browser, collection and player window. Sistre panel notification area icon support. Song collection, which includes specific folders on the file system. Searching files, artists, album, genre in collection can be performed using simple and advanced options. Intelligent playlists support dynamic playlists. Integration with online services such as Magnatune, Jamindo, MP3 Tunes, Last.fm and Shoutcast. Songs can be rated both dynamically, based on how much the song is played, and by hand, giving rating of 1 to 5 stars to the song. Amarok file tracking since 1.4.3 stores file checksum in the collection. This allows the file be moved around in the file system without Amarok losing track of the song statistics. Collection filter, newest songs, highest rated, most played, etc. Support for Phonon engine. The backend of Phonon dictates which media types Amarok can play and how they play. When using XINE, Amarok supports crossfading, but not seeking in SeekPointless FLAC files. When using GStreamer, Amarok supports seeking and gapless playback, but not crossfading. Support for mood bars. Uses Taglib for tags. Amarok can be controlled via D-Bus. Amarok scripts, for example, when writing lyrics fetching plugins, can be written in Qt script. Topic. Amarok 2.0 Amarok 2 was released on 10 December 2008. New features include Tight integration with online services such as Magnatune, Jamindo, MP3 Tunes, Last.fm and Shoutcast. Completely overhauled scripting API and plugin support to allow better integration into Amarok. Migration from the KDE 3 to KDE Software Compilation 4, and utilization of core technologies such as Solid, Phonon, and Plasma. The user interface had been redesigned to make context information like lyrics and albums from the same artist more accessible and allow the user to decide which information is available by adding applets to the context view in the middle. Topic. Changes since 1.4 Service Framework – This integrates networked music sources directly into Amarok. This includes online music stores, media servers, web music lockers, and more. Due to this the users will be able to get easy access to music provided by Magnatune, Jamindo, Last.fm, MP3 Tunes Locker and Ampachi. Biased playlists. Biased playlists extend the old dynamic playlists. They allow users to define an automatically populated playlist, based on specific probability-driven criteria called biases. Context view. This view occupies the central place of the Amarox window, replacing the old context browser from the 1.x series. It displays contextual information about the music one plays, like the album cover, track rating, labels, lyrics, artist information, related songs and artists and track mood. Other features, additional changes in Amarok 2.0 include new SVG-based scalable theme, advanced scripting, dynamic collections, usability changes, updated media device handling, new podcast manager and support for more software platforms. Topic. Forks and variations The transition from version 1.4 to version 2 was criticized by many users. As a consequence some new projects have been established, based on Amarok version 1.4.x. Amarok Live was a live CD Linux distribution with the sole purpose to demonstrate Amarok. Clementine is a fork of Amarok 1.4 to port it to the Qt4 framework. Exile is a GTK Plus clone of Amarok 1.4. Garricky is a clone of Amarok 1.4, written in PySide. 
Panna was a fork of Amarok 1.4. The intention was to keep the original program alive. The author has now discontinued the project. Topic: Release history. Topic: See also. Software audio players free and open source.